Hey everyone, welcome back. Well, like I said in the title, I got a dumb but functional shuriken build for a clearing steel path. Does it have good KPS? Not really. Can it kill anything easily? Yes. Is this a good build? I'd say yes. Is this a serious build? No. Wouldn't you have access to better setups by the time you have what's needed for this build? Yes. But Warframe is about fun, so this is why I made this build. After all, what is left to do in Warframe once you've done everything the game intended already? Shuriken is the helmet ability of Ash, throwing two auto-homing shurikens that are guaranteed to proc slash and bypass all terrain. They can only hit two enemies though, so the AoE potential isn't there. That said, we can buff the crap out of these, so you can pretend you're a real space ninja taking on Steel Pass. Now, why Rhino instead of Ash? Honestly, the only reason is because Roar is penalized when subsumed onto the other frames, gaining only 60% of its original effect, whereas Shuriken is not. Additionally, Rhino has Iron Skin for a free Prime Surefooted as well. If you really care, I guess you can run Skijati to make yourself invisible for the full ninja effect. So let's take a look at this totally not optimal and definitely not intended for serious runs kind of build. It's pretty high on strength and some duration so that we don't hate ourselves. Rhino's energy pool sucks, so we must run Primed Flow to accompany Fleeting Expertise. If you are concerned about the energy usage, you can always drop Umbral Intensify for Streamline. Alternatively, you can drop Blind Rage, but because this build relies on Slash procs, I'm not sure if I want to give up that much strength, as Roar will double dip for our damage. So long as you cast Roar with Energy Conversion and Growing Power proc you will reach 188%. I can't reform on the build more due to my other configs, but a max rank power drift will give you a 194% roar instead. Energize is mandatory on this build to sustain the energy usage. There are also very few ways to buff the damage of shurikens, so we are sourcing this from general damage buffs, which are different than weapon damage buffs. Both Vigor Swap and Arcane Arachne work for this, cumulatively giving us plus 315% base damage. This multiplies our shuriken damage by over 4 times. Our build will only focus on his 2 and 3 as well as shuriken, so range is irrelevant, and we only need enough duration for Roar to be not annoying to recast. For our weapons, we just need something to proc Vigorous Swap. This is more easily done with double guns than melee due to proc delay bugs of Vigorous Swap when swapping between guns and melee. Viral damage will also increase the slash ticks of your shuriken, so I'm taking two primers that will work no matter what weapon I have out. First is our Cedo. The alt fire bounces up to 10 times, giving you 11 procs total. It procs all four primer elements and blasts by default, as well as anything else you mod. This gives it pretty good CC and priming potential. There is a slight delay before you can throw it again, though. I've modded for radiation and viral for maximum CC and damage multiplication. We have Hunter Track and Lingering Torment to buff the status duration further, and Multi Shot for more discs launched at once, allowing us to max out our procs sooner. The Epitaph build is quite similar as well. This time I built it for pure viral since that's the only purpose on this setup. It will still have split procs with an 8 blast and also force proc hold as well. If you want better CC and aren't as concerned about maximizing viral, you can throw on radiation as well. I've chosen instead to use those radiation slots for Augur Seeker and Perpetual Agony since I value the status duration more here. Primed Fulmination is also super handy for dealing with crowds, as it increases the Primer AoE to a juicy 13.28 meter radius. I could bring the Zorus Primer build, but I'm not going to include it here because it really isn't necessary. If you're curious how it works, check it out in my Sobek nuking build up on the card above. We definitely want to be running Xenric for this one, with Energizing Dash and Energy Pulse being quite handy. It will let you sustain the drain rate from both spamming Shuriken a lot more easily and Roar to ensure you always have energy to recast. Panzer is definitely the best pick for just spreading Viral around everywhere to make the build more capable of one-shotting heavies on Steel Path with the first tick. While the setup can kill level cap enemies, I strongly would not advise it because the KPS and throw rate are quite low, alongside lacking AoE, meaning you can only really focus on two enemies at a time. So let's show it in action. I'm going to test on these super tanky Drakar Manic Bombards to get the full perspective of these slash DOTs. First, we want to make sure to proc energy conversion before casting Roar. Make sure you proc growing power as well. You'll also want to set up Arcane Arachne. This arcane cannot be refreshed, so every 30 seconds you will have to find something to wall latch off. It activates instantly, so just tapping the wall is enough. I'm going to be using my epitaph to prime the enemies. Iron Skin will let you block the self-stagger without having to mod prime sure footed. 
Once you tap them once or twice, you'll just proc Vig Swap and then start spamming the shurikens. Every 5 or 6 seconds, you will need to double swap your epitaph again. Usually, I shoot it once or twice before swapping to reset the viral procs. Keep an eye on your Roar and Arcane Arachne timers as well. Once you get the rhythm going, you can freely just run past enemies and tap these shurikens on them. They will die a second or two later. The only issue is the tracking is a bit wonky in crowds and sometimes significantly veers off course to hit a different enemy than you were aiming at. It also takes a while to kill crowds due to the lack of AoE and maximum of 2 enemies tagged per throw. Them taking 1-2 seconds to die means you can also waste the cast on hitting them again instead of another enemy. That said, it is ability damage, so you don't really need to rely on your weapons. You can easily get slash ticks into the 100k to 200k range this way. So let's take a look at this rotation one more time. Energy Conversion, Roar, Arcane Arachne, Epitaph, Vigorous Swap, and Spam Shurikens. Spam, 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 Reproc Vigorous Swap, spam some more, spam, 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 spam a little bit more again, Primer them, and Reproc Vig Swap again. And now the crowd is dead. Arachne is expiring soon, so we reproc it and then head to the next crowd. Energy Conversion should set up naturally. Like I said, you have issues with the energy economy, you can sacrifice either Umbral Intensify or Energy Conversion for Streamline. Alternatively, you can drop Line Rage for Augur Secrets, but you will lose a massive amount of strength and the corresponding double dip loss for Slash DOTs. The remaining footage is just showcasing this questionable build in Steel Path. It works decently well as is, but the viral primers are what pushes it over the edge and makes it legit, albeit slow for crowd killing. It really is just the build for funsies and memes, but feel free to try it out on Steel Path. I'm pleasantly surprised by how high I managed to push the damage, but really wish it had AoE potential. If this is your first time watching, feel free to leave a like, or better yet, subscribe. If anybody watching this can think of something I may be missing to make it more viable, feel free to let me know down in the comments. 79.5% of you are not subscribed. I'm trying my best to get you new information out always, as soon as possible, like I've been doing with covering the Tempest Starry mainline. Stick around if you want to see interesting memes and builds on a nearly daily basis. I'm also preparing to get you the info first out once the Sisters of Parvos mainline drops. You don't want to miss out on that day one Urelli content, do you? That'll be it for this video. Thank you all for watching, and see you all next time.